Well, it's Monday, everybody, and we have some more fun entertainment to talk about today. And today we are talking about Vinaya, Vidheya, Rama. Sure, sounds right to me. Don't go anywhere. You do not want to miss this. This is a good one. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. Squeaky, listen. You ever seen a cool puppy like this? I think it's called a corgi or something. Isn't it cute? Check it out. Watch. I know, right? <laughs> happy, happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and are starting your week off right. I hope everything is going great. Because we had a wonderful weekend. It was fun. We watched movies. We hung out. It was delightful. Hey, like and subscribe if you haven't already. We are so glad you're here. As always, in the description down below are our links. If they're not there, the nerdy Ronin dot com is the place to be today we are hitting the buffet for indian again because oh buddy man i'm enjoying this and you should be too if you're watching what i'm laying down here all right let's let's see if i can pronounce this correctly vinaya vidaya rama that's i don't know what that means i know that the main character's name is rama so there's that. 2019, not rated. Two hours and 26 minutes. And, whoo, boy, it is a long and delightful two hours and 26 minutes. <clears throat> Directed by Bayapati Srinu. Written by Ali Lucknowi. M. Rathnam Bayapati Srinu. Look, I, I wish I knew how to pronounce these names better. I do know that the main actor's name is Ram Charan. Uh, and he's fantastic. When the happiness of his family is held to ransom by a violent crime lord, Ram sets out on a quest to destroy his nemesis and his criminal empire. Okay, <clears throat> that synopsis is sort of right and really wrong. This movie is extremely, extremely unique in that the, the whole thing, the whole premise starts out with four orphans who find a baby in the weeds by a railroad track, all right, an infant, and he's been bitten by ants and he's crying, he's bleeding, and they take him to the, the poor person's hospital, like the walk-in clinic, all right, and they become the the these kids become the parental you know i guess you'd say the parents if you will of this child this baby and they raise this baby and it it's just as weird as that sounds it works perfectly fine in this world okay <laughs> it's delightful thanks to a, a caring doctor he gives them a place to live and eventually adopts all five of them. So this story is about four orphaned boys. And the brother that has no family. That they don't know where he came from. <clears throat> and it's amazing. It's fantastic. As it turns out as they're growing up. The, uh, the infant that they found as he grows up. He decides to take on all comers. And he's tough. And he has... It's mysterious just how tough he is, which allows the four orphans to go to school and become educated and get good jobs. And he, the infant, then as he grows up, he's just tough and stuff, okay? <laughs> kind of nonchalant, doesn't really have a job, doesn't really have education, but is a wonderful person. There's just something about him. <clears throat> And eventually, due to the elections and the political side of the nation, there's a crime lord or a warlord, if you will, ruling one area. 
and one of the brothers, he's the election commissioner. And he gets into it with this warlord. And then you get this, and, and this, you know, by halfway in the movie, you're like, where is this going? Because it's kind of a love story. And then it gets going. And, oh my goodness, it's amazing. <laughs> the fight scenes are fantastic. The cinematography is great. The characters are great. The choreography for the fights is beautiful. I have two complaints about this movie, at, if, and that's it. And one of them is being that the timeline throughout the movie, near the end, gets a tad confusing and hard to follow. But I got there in the end. And you will too, if you watch this movie. And the second thing is the, the warlord takes a cobra and lets it bite him. Stating as fact that once a snake bites somebody, the snake dies. And they show the snake die. After biting him. Now I don't know about you. But I've never met. A snake that dies after it bites somebody. That That's not even true. I, I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> because that's ludicrous. And if you've grown up thinking. If you watch this and you're young. And you think. Oh well if I ever get bit by a snake. The snake will die. When you get bit the 18th time. You'll be like hmm this is not working. The way I thought it was supposed to work. That's not how it works y'all. <laughs> This movie ends up being somewhat of a superhero type story. It's the only example I can give. Because Rama, the the, the infant, when, when he's an adult, he is like super strong. You might look at kind of like a, a Samson. You know, no weakness. He's just super strong. And he he is insanely awesome to watch fight. The wire work, which there's much of, is great and delightful to watch. The choreography, as I said earlier, is delightful. The cinematography is good. The story is good. It's on Amazon Prime. You can watch this right now if, you're, if you have Prime. And you need to watch this. If you love a good action movie, <clears throat> fair warning, fair warning. The musical numbers throughout this are extremely intricate and well, like, huge set pieces. The musical numbers are fantastic. And probably 35 minutes of this movie is musical numbers, which is on par for a lot of Indian cinema. As long as it advances the story, I'm cool. I'm great. And all the music in this advances the love story which is at the heart of Rama's life all right and what's going on with him because all the other the the four brothers or, or orphans they're all married in this he's the only one that's not so it's important hey look I know I'm running on and on but I want you to be aware there's musical numbers and there's a lot of violence and I found out where Indian cinema draws the line as far as editing things. Because a head gets chopped off in this movie. And they have blurred out the head flying off. The head itself as it flies off the body. So evidently, everything's gravy with Indian cinema that I've seen, action-wise, except beheadings. So, there's that. <laughs> wow. So there you go. I've given you a heads up. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm out of here. I gotta go. I got stuff to do. You guys, I hope you are having a great week. I hope you're planning to have an even better week. And I can't wait to be back with you on hump day. But for today, we've got to go. You need to check this movie out. It's delightful. It's fantastic. And as far as action movies goes, it's top tier. I loved it. Um, We're out. All right, for Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this fat, silly nerd. We'll see you on Hump Day.